Altitude sickness is a group of symptoms that occur when you walk or climb to a higher elevation too quickly. It is also called mountain sickness. There are essentially two types of altitude sickness. Acute is the most common, and the second is high altitude pulmonary edema, or HAPE, which is far less common. Altitude sickness occurs mainly in people who are visiting an area much higher in altitude than where they normally live. We see a lot of it here in Colorado, especially up in the mountains. You may suspect that you have acute altitude sickness if you have a headache, dizziness, loss of appetite, and poor sleep. The most important thing is to recognize it is happening and then get to a lower altitude. That's probably all you need to do. In the case of HAPE, the symptoms are more severe. Plus, you'll notice additional symptoms that involve your lungs. You'll have shortness of breath, even at rest. You'll have difficulty walking, and you'll have a cough that may produce a frothy sputum that can be tinged with blood. With HAPE, you need to descend immediately and seek medical help. You should also follow up with a pulmonologist to be assessed for your future risk of HAPE. Chronic altitude sickness is something we see in people who live in the mountains of Colorado at high altitude at around 8,000 feet or above. You would develop pulmonary hypertension and noticeable symptoms. You would experience shortness of breath more than your friends or family, and you might develop swelling of the legs. You might develop skipped heartbeats. You might have to limit your daily activities because of fatigue and shortness of breath. Recognizing the signs of altitude sickness will help you know if you need to descend and get any further medical treatment to feel better again.